number 33 Mercedes will be taken over by Jerome Blakemull and a guy who had two laps in the old car before the crash happened and the team had to work tirelessly all through the night to get this pre-built. That is the sound of the Mercedes engine leaving the pit box after a great stop. And Bill Riley told us in the countdown to green that they were going to go to Seepkins afterwards. They just earned it. Robert Alon is in the gravel at Canada Corner. The 85 car losing it down there and I don't think he's got enough purchase to get out. For a moment, Jeremy, I thought he was going to get no. Back wheels are now spinning and he's not coming out of there. The pits are closed and we've gone full course caution. Yeah, we have and uh, oh, what a shame. It's all gone wrong, hasn't it, for that 85 car. Made an error in the pit stop, now they made an error out on the racetrack and this is going to be very costly. What a shame. Let's see what happened here. He's, uh, well, that's interesting. Oh, you got to help. Okay, I beg your pardon. Beg your pardon, number 93 car then, uh, braking, uh, oh, using use number 85 car as a brake, that's very bizarre. Yeah, not at all Robert Alon's fault, no, that one, that was no, Lawson okay. Ashenbach misjudging his braking, oh, and there was enough forward momentum from the 85 car, but the step coming out of the gravel trap is so steep there that the front splitter actually caught on it and arrested his movement. Now. Lawson Ashenbach, that was not, I'm sure, deliberate, but the GT cars nowadays, with the ABS, of course, break very, very late into the corners, particularly down at Canada Corner, where it's actually pretty uh, uneven down there. And uh, I wonder if that just caught him out. Well, oh, Ashenbach, maybe there'd been a little bit of argy-bargy further round the lap because uh, Ashenbach had just come out of the uh, carousel along goes through that's all fine into the braking area oh now I mean we've seen some we've seen some that car's had some uh, some electrical problems this weekend well I uh, and I'm wondering whether it's recurring there because we've seen several cars ha in particularly GT3 cars having ABS problems this weekend whether that's another one, I don't know. It's happened to the number third position, and that's how they'll come back to the green flag. Yeah, definitely seems like the 85 was struggling and had maybe lost the position to Ashenbach. Then gets by in the left-hander after the kink. Down into the braking area. It's an odd one. I don't think Robert Alon is the type of guy who brake tests somebody. So he looked like he'd break in roughly the right place. And he's now, as 